Hello everyone, my name is Barak and today I will share with you a short tutorial of how I am exporting my 3D content to virtual 360 panoramic view. Um, I'm using Houdini but you can do it uh, on every 3D package you are familiar with. So let's start. Before I start, I will try to give a simple intuitive explanation to what we are going to do in this short tutorial. Um, please feel free to search cubic projection, projection in, on the internet. And let's jump to Dini. This is our 3D scene. And what we are going to do is more or less the inverse procedure of creating a cubic projection. What that mean? Imagine we will create a very very small perfect cube and every face of the cube will acquire different view of our 3D scene. Altogether we'll get six views means six images from this nice uh, perfect cube. These six images will transfer to Pano 2 VR, is a software that able to interpolate, uh, in this case, these six images of the cube and convert it to a surface of a sphere, which will give us the feeling of 360 uh, panoramic view. Um, I hope I was clear enough to, with this uh, short explanation. So let's jump into the creation of our 360 camera. Let's start with a uh, null. We'll call it um, 360 camera. And now we'll create uh, six cameras. Each will represent a different side in the cube. I show earlier. So let's define the properties of the of the camera. I will give it resolution of 1024, focal length 1, aperture 2. Every camera that will be the back camera. Okay, and let's continue the five other cameras. It will be the right one, the right side. Let's continue. The left side. Mm. The front side. Let's change up here the bottom side. Sorry, okay, that's a better way of looking at it. And the top side of the perfect cube. Okay, so we have our 360 panoramic camera ready. And now we'll have to render picture from each of the cameras here and transfer it to the Pano 2 VR software. We inside the Pano 2 VR uh, software. You can download it from the internet, of course. Um, let's select an input. We'll select the cube faces, and let's take the cube files. 
let's take the front, right, back, left, up, and down. And we can check on the modify, inside the modify, if we did it right and we didn't confuse with the camera, then it seems that everything is smooth and fine. And basically that's it. From here we're going to we're going to add. We have a quick time or flash uh, in other formats we can use for sites. And you just click add and okay, and you generate the file, and you have a 360 panoramic view of your 3D scene. Thank you very much for watching.